Hello students, welcome to Sarovsa's classes. Today we will be solving the IIT Jam Mathematical Statistics Question Paper of year 2018. Today we will be solving the, we will be starting with section B. In section B we have multiple choice questions and more than one question can also be correct. So we will start with question number 31. In question number 31 it has been said that let set of a n let a n where a n is greater than or equal to 1 be the sequence of real numbers such that a n is equal to summation 1 by k where k goes from n plus 1 to twice n and n is greater than or equal to 1. Now which of the following statements is or are true? First is a n is an increasing sequence. Option b a n is bounded below. Option c a n is bounded above. And option d a n is a convergent sequence. So what we'll do first is that we have been given that a n is equal to summation 1 by k where k goes from n plus 1 to twice n n n is greater than or equal to 1. So therefore a 1 is equal to summation k where k goes from 2 to 2 1 by k and this is basically equal to 1 by 2. And if you find out a 2 a 2 will be equal to summation k goes from 3 to 4 1 by k so this will be equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 this will be equal to 7 by 12 so basically we can see that a2 is greater than a1 so we can see that a n n greater than equal to 1 is an increasing sequence this is what we have got so option a is correct we have saw the option a is correct now for the bounded below part so as an increases as n condition increases there will come a value for which like limit a n as n tends to infinity this is equal to this is equal to some value uh, this is equal to some value which will ultimately be zero but that is we never know when it will be reached but we are knowing that a n starts from 1 by 2 so it is definitely it's an increasing function so it is definitely bounded below so a n is also bounded below so option b is also correct so now let us check out for the convergence we have been given let us find out a n plus 1 now a n plus 1 minus a n will be given by summation 1 by k where k goes from n plus 2 to twice n plus 2 minus or summation 1 by k where k goes from n plus 1 to twice n so basically twice n plus 2 and twice n plus uh, first terms are remaining over here and the n plus 1 term n plus 1 is remaining over here. it will be so twice n plus 2 plus 1 by twice n plus 1 minus of 1 by n plus 1 all the other terms will be cancelled now this term is basically equal to twice n plus 2 plus 1 by twice n plus 1 we can modify this as 1 by twice n plus 2 we can modify this like this so this will come down to 1 by twice n plus 1 minus of 1 by twice n plus 2 so this is a n plus n so now if this entire thing we take it as equal to t n say so that will imply that a n plus 1 minus of a n is equal to t n so that will imply that a n plus 1 is equal to a n plus t of n okay so this is what we have got so now let again let k of n be equal to 1 by n so that is we also know that summation of k k summation of kn which is summation of 1 by n is a divergent sequence not convergent that means not convergent so now by we'll apply the limit comparison test limit comparison test to find out whether tn is convergent or an is convergent ultimately so what we'll do is that we'll find out limit kn by tn 
as n tends to infinity so this will give us 1 by n upon 1 by twice n plus 1 minus 1 by twice n plus 2 so this will ultimately give us one upon one by two plus one by n minus one by two plus two by n this is what we've got so if n tends to infinity then one by n tends to zero so basically it is one by two minus one by two that will be zero one minus zero one by zero that is equal to infinity so tends to infinity okay so it's ten tends to infinity now let me put let me insert another page over here so we are seeing that limit k n by t n as n tends to infinity tends to infinity so this will imply that limit t n by k n as n tends to 0 at n, n tends to infinity tends to 0 so by limit comparison test we get the summation of k n we know the summation of k n does not converge so that implies that summation of t n also does not converge and that implies that summation of a n also does not converge so only options a and b are correct so today we have solved question number 31 from the iit jam mathematical statistics question paper of year 2018 we will be solving the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching subscribe classes videos for more solutions and content thank you very much